In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we, who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God, may with the help of her intercession rise up from our iniquities through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man. What is the meaning of this proverb that you recite in the land of Israel? Fathers have eaten green grapes, thus their children's teeth are on edge. As I leave, says the Lord God, I swear that there shall no longer be anyone among you who will repeat this proverb in Israel, for all lives are mine. The life of the Father is like the life of the Son, both are mine. Only the one who sins shall die. If a man is virtuous, if he does what is right and just, if he does not eat on the mountains, nor raise his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel, if he does not defile his neighbor's wife, nor have relations with a woman in her menstrual period. If he oppresses no one, gives back the pledge received for a debt, commits no robbery. If he gives food to the hungry and clothes the naked. If he does not lend at interest nor exact usury. If he holds off from evil doing, judges fairly between a man and his opponent. If he lives by my statutes and is careful to observe my ordinances, that man is virtuous. He shall surely live, says the Lord God. But if he begets a son who is a thief, a murderer, and lends at, exact, at interest, and exacts usury, this son certainly shall not live, because he practiced all these abominations, he shall surely die. His death shall be his own fault. Therefore, I will judge you, house of Israel, each one according to his ways, says the Lord God. Turn and be converted, from all your crimes, that they may be no cause of guilt for you. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Why should you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of anyone who dies, says the Lord God. Return and live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, 
and your, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustained in me. I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. Create a clean heart in me, O God. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O, o God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Please stand. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Children were brought to Jesus that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples rebuked them, but Jesus said, Let the children come to me and do not prevent them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as this. After he placed his hands on them, he went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po at maligayang pagdating dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Manawan. Sinasabi po ng, itang, ng ating Ibanghilyo na napakaswerte po talaga ng mga bata. Alam niyo po kung bakit sinabi na po dito Sila po ang nagmamayari ng langit. Sila po ang nagmamayari ng langit. Pag ang bata daw po namatay, diretso po sa langit. Parang kung nagka-travel pa, parang nag-expressway, walang traffic. Dire-diretso po yan, langit. Kasi po, yun po yung tahanan ng mga bata. Una-una po, bakit po naging tahanan ng mga bata yung langit. Bakit po ganun yung paliwanag ng Panginoon? Dahil yung mga bata po, eh talagang wala pong kasalanan. Sila po ay pure. Hindi po nag-iisip ng masama sa kapwa. Hindi man lamang. Hindi naghahangad ng hindi maganda sa kapwa. Kung may nangyari mang pag-aalitan yung mga yan, Alitang bata po yan. Wala po talagang masamang intensyon yan. Kaya po, pag sila tinawag ng Diyos, naka-expressway po yan. Mabilis. Nasa langit na po ang mga yan. E ang tanong, paano po tayong mga matatanda? May expressway po ba papuntang langit para sa ating mga matatanda? E malamang sa malamang, lahat po tayo ay May pinagkatandaan na, tumalino na, may sariling judgment na, at pa, sigurado din po ako, lahat tayo ay nakakagawa na ng mga kasalanan. Well, yung iba na hindi na ng kapatawaran, yung iba hindi pa. In other words, hindi na po tayo ganun ka-pure. Minsan-minsan may politics na tayo, minsan-minsan may laro na tayo sa buhay. Hindi na tayo inusente. Matatalino na po kasi tayo. Nag-aral na tayo, marami na tayong experience, meron na tayong pinagkatandaan. Mahirap na po sa atin maging pure of heart. Balik po sa tanong, meron pa rin po ba tayong expressway papuntang langit? Actually, meron pa rin daw po. Paano? Yung tinuturo po sa ating Ibanghelyo, sino po ba sa ang magtuturo sa mga bata 
o sino ho ba ang magpapakilala sa mga bata kay Jesus? Yun po yung mga gawain natin. Simula sa bahay, ipapakilala po natin si Jesus sa mga bata, sa mga anak nyo, sa mga nakakabatang kapatid, kahit yung sa mga kapitbahay, o lahat ng siguro batang makita natin, makasalamuha natin, pwede po natin ipakilala si Jesus. Sino si Jesus? Paano makilala si Jesus? Ano ang istorya ni Jesus? Isa po yun. Pangalawa, hindi lang po pwedeng tumigil sa pagpapakilala. Dapat po maramdaman nila si Jesus. Paano po maramdaman? Through our actions. Eh, paano po ba yung ituring ni Jesus yung mga bata? Eh, si Jesus, sobrang napakakiring sa mga bata. Kinakausap, kinikwentuhan, binibigyan ng panahon. Pinapakain kong nagugutong, pinuprotektahan. Kung titingin po tayo sa paligid, marami pong batang naabuso, nagugutong, o di kaya siguro walang tamang pagkalinga. Lalo-lalo na siguro kung nasa loob pa ng bahay natin, may mga bata pang naka-experience ng ganun, worse po yun. E nandyan na nga tayo sa loob ng bahay. E dapat nabigyan natin sila ng panahon, nabigyan natin sila ng atensyon kung ano yung pangangailangan ng mga bata. At siguro kung kakayanin ng panahon niyo at ng resources niyo, yung makita kayo ng mga bata, makakita tayo ng mga bata dyan sa lansangan, kunting tulong siguro, malaking bagay na po yun. Kasi po, sila daw po nga po ang bayari ng langit. At sa panahon na sila ay nagdasal, baka i-report tayo doon, ito po yung mga taong tumulong sa atin. Nang sa ganun, magkaroon po tayo ng record doon. Oh, malay natin, sa langit sila na magsabi, ah sige yan, expressway na yan. Kasi daw, pag ang bata nagsumbong sa langit, diretso nga daw po yun sa Panginoon. Pag ang bata umiyak, pinabayaan, naghirap, abot yan hanggang langit agad. At yan din, nagpasalamat, natuwa, nagpasalamat sa Panginoon dahil sa pagkalinga na ibinigay natin, aabot din yan agad dun. Sino ang tumulong sa'yo? Si ganito po. Ayun. Merit mo na yun sa langit. Nawa po, maging mas mapagkalinga tayo sa mga bata, nang sa ganun po ay makabahagi din tayo ng kanilang uh, special na lugar sa langit. With confidence, we come and present our needs to God our Father who loves all His children. For every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church of the homes may be built on unselfish love, and that families may know and understand the depth of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That married couples may be sensitive to each other's needs and find true happiness in their lives together. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents may bless their children with attention, caring, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That children and those who are considered weak in our society may be supported by those who have more in life. Let Lord, us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That eternal peace be granted upon those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also include in our prayers the intentions of every pilgrims of Our Lady of Manawa. Father, your kingdom belongs to little children. Hear the prayers of your children who trust in you. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Bless are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for, a, for our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of His sacrifice may, by your grace, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to, to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere we give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands and he injured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that we may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Having been partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pagsama sa ating banal na misa. Naway maging safe po kayo sa pag-uwi at ipanalangin din po natin yung ating mga mahal sa buhay na wala po dito. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And with the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Ipagdasal din po natin yung ating mga mahal sa buhay na may sakit. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our mighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Panawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, we will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.